Welcome back. We are hanging with the incredible actress Maddie Ziegler, and I'd like to say friend of the show because Definitely. you've been here before. Yes. Now you are a beauty junkie, a fashion icon. Oh. What's your latest trend that you're liking right now? Clean beauty. I feel like growing up as a competition dancer, I wore so much makeup when I was younger, and I wear so much less now, and I'm just really into it. It's all about the skin, skin care first. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. I need to slather. I love putting pure vitamin E oil all over my mm, face. My sister told me to do that. Okay, now you're close with your sister. I'm so close with my sister. Now, I, I, you've met Olive and Frankie. Mm -hmm. um, what's the best thing I can do to foster their closeness? Mm. I mean, my sister and I are 20 months apart, and I think- we're... They're 17. Okay, yeah, so, okay. We were so heavily together every second when we were younger, which I think caused a lot of like friction between the two of us, just because we were just consuming, like we were always together. And as we've started to get older, it's like we really are best friends now from growing up and like we're like, oh, now I see you as a friend, which is just the coolest thing ever. At what point should we parents allow a more independent, individualized mm. life? As you said, you did everything together, you went apart a little bit, you came back together. What age am I supposed to be doing this, Maddie? I think around like 13 is when we what? start to find ourselves individually and then come back together. Your film is about growing up and mm -hmm. coming of age. It's mm -hmm. called Fitting In, which mm -hmm. is such a brilliant title. As a parent, boy, do I relate to wanting to fix things. Yeah. And yet I hear from every expert I respect to not keep trying to fix things mm -hmm. for my kids. Yeah. But your character is also going through a condition, so that's different. Yeah. Will you describe that? Yeah, so my character, Lindy, um, and it's loosely based on Molly McGlynn, who wrote and directed this film. Uh, she is unexpectedly diagnosed with a rare reproductive condition called MRKH syndrome. And so this kind of turns her whole world upside down. And like, she's trying to find herself, her plans to obviously have sex. And, you know, she's finding her sexuality, womanhood. It's so confusing to be a teenager alone and to then on top of it have this is, you know, it rocks our world. And so um, this film has so much heart in it. And I'm so lucky I did this film. Like every day I'm thankful that I did it because, uh, I grew so much from it and I learned to love myself at the end of this process, which was like the coolest thing. I'm so happy to see your trajectory and growth in wisdom. And as one of your biggest admirers, as we all are in our family, <laughs> my daughter Olive wrote the final five for you today. I love it. Would you be so kind? Of course. Okay, it's the final <laughs> five, everybody. <laughs> all right. What was your favorite personal book that you made? Ooh. I would probably say The Maddie Diaries, which is funny because I had a memoir when I was 12, which is just really funny, but you can relate, but yeah. 14? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, it just felt the most personal to me. And I, it was fun to like share little things that maybe no one had known, so yeah. Fantastic. What was the worst thing that you did that you got in trouble for? <laughs> I'm a very good two shoes and I'm like, so I have actually never really been in like real trouble before, but I would say there's, you know, sometimes if you don't do well on a test and you can retake it with the permission of your parent and uh -huh. I forged my mom's signature and got caught. Yeah. So your new movie is called Fitting In. Did you ever feel like you did not fit in? Hmm. I feel like you obviously can really relate, but it's so interesting to grow up and feel like to be a working kid while you're also in school. I just felt so like I couldn't connect to people in my class. I really wanted to so bad, but I felt like a full adult. Like I was working a full job and traveling and then I would come back and I just felt kind of out of the conversation of like the after school things. And so, yeah, it was just a different Mindset. Okay, what do you miss about your hometown Pittsburgh? Ooh, um, Dairy Queen. <laughs> I love a DQ, I was just, I, I just went to them. The milkshakes are so thick, you can't get it through the straw. I love it. You know how there's like the rule when they give you the blizzard, they have to turn it over. And if you don't, you get it free, if you didn't know that. So, now you know. Hot tip. <laughs>
Who was your favorite person that you ever worked with? Or one of the favorite people oh. you've worked with? Because I know there are many. I know, like obviously Steven Spielberg. That's a classic. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but probably Molly McGlynn, who did this film. She's, I didn't realize how much she would impact my life. I'm such an admirer of her. Sometimes you find the right story and character that can change your life forever. So I'm so glad that Fitting In did that for you, mm -hmm. and I know it will for anyone watching. And thank you. Thank you, Matt.